Now, in the weeks following Charlottesville, several cities began removing Confederate monuments. We remember that. But here in Cincinnati, members of a historic church began discussing what they should do with a couple of Confederate symbols inside their cathedral. Local 12's Brad Underwood explains what happened. Dwayne, historically, the church has had a record of advocating for civil rights and equality. After what happened in Charlottesville, the church's dean asked the members to examine their heart and to have a discussion about two pieces of history inside the church. The church itself has been complicit in enshrining systems and people who contributed to white supremacy. And they are here in the very corners of this cathedral. A year ago, Dean Gail Greenwell called on her church to help make a change. The conversation began about what to do or not to do with two pieces of history in the church that some believe celebrate white supremacy. This is the gathering place for all people and we believe that it is part and parcel of our mission to take out symbols that have depicted division from our sacred space. Symbols like this stained glass image of Confederate General Robert E. Lee and this plaque commemorating Leonidas Polk, a church bishop and Confederate general. Today, nearly a year after the conversations began on what to do with them, they're gone. It's about realizing who we are as people and not in looking beyond um, surface divisions because we have more that unites us than divides us. You can hardly tell the plaque was ever there as the floor has been redone. Inside the cathedral, the window is still missing a section, but soon to come, two pioneers of the civil rights movement. So we are delighted that Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass are going to be replacing um, two images on that window. They're going to be the two images that are going to be depicted in our cathedral space. The plaque is believed to have been installed sometime in the 1930s and the stained glass images believed to be put in around the 1950s. Now, Reverend Zachariah says there were several voices in the church that didn't want to see these items removed, but discussions were had. Everyone was heard, but in the end, the church decided to move in a clear direction. Reporting downtown, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. And right now, the church is working to finalize those plans to have an artist create the stained glass images of Douglas and Tubb.